Hey, what's up everybody? It's Rutech. Today we're talking about the best $1,000 laptops for school or college in 2022. Now I'm losing my voice a little bit today, so if my voice cracks here and there, don't mind it and definitely don't leave a comment about it. Don't hurt my feelings. But anyway, as a university student, I know how important it is to have a highly versatile and powerful laptop. The usual default choice is a MacBook, right? I mean, in most lectures I'm in, I see quite a few MacBooks, which makes sense. They're great machines, but I will tell you right now, there are a ton of Windows laptops that do a lot better in the $1,000 price range. So in this video, I will be talking about the best three Windows laptops for school that you can get in 2022. First though, a quick message. Digitalchillmark.com is the best place to get cheap Windows 10 and 11 licensed keys. If you're building a PC or have built one, but you're still running an unactivated version of Windows, Digital Chill Mart has you covered. Simply go to the front page of their website, scroll down a bit, and you'll find Windows 10 and 11 for great prices and the prices get better, I have a coupon code for you guys to use. Type in Rutech right here and it'll be instantly applied. Link for digitalchillmart.com will be in my description. So these three laptops are in no particular order, however I will mention my favorite of the three at the end of the video, and links to all discussed laptops today can be found in the description. So in the number three slot, we have the Dell Inspiron 7415 2-in-1 laptop. It's a 2-in-1 like I said, so that means this functions not only as a touchscreen laptop, but also kind of a tablet as you can see here. So if you're watching a lecture for example, you could stand the laptop like so, and watch it without the keyboard and trackpad being in the way. But we'll talk more about about the chassis later. Let's first look at the specs. For the CPU, it has a Ryzen 7 5700U, which is an 8-core, 16-thread processor with a base clock of 1.8 GHz and boost clock of 4.3. This CPU is phenomenal for all productivity tasks. If you're doing programming, browsing, Photoshop, all your demanding software for college applications, the Ryzen 5700U can more than handle it. Also, this comes with AMD Radon 8 graphics, which is some of the best APU graphics you can currently get in this price range. This means light gaming as well as 3D work and rendering will be absolutely no problem. For RAM, you're looking at a beautiful 32 gigabytes of memory. It is unlikely you will ever need 32 gigabytes majority of the time, but it's a really nice thing to have if you're maybe a film student and do some heavy rendering, or maybe you have a tendency of leaving a crap ton of tabs open, whatever it may be, having that extra memory will be nice. And for storage, it's a one terabyte SSD, so you have a ton of fast storage, storing all your projects, videos, pictures. You'll not only have a lot of space, but it will load very quickly. Now let's look at things beyond performance, like the display. It has a 1080p 14-inch IPS touchscreen. 14 inches is a pretty typical size for 2-in-1s in this price range, but do bear in mind that there are larger displays out there, for example, 15.6 inches if 14 isn't to your liking. It's only a 1.6-inch difference, but hey, 1.6 inches is pretty big. And as for the overall build, it's some high-quality stuff, which is expected from a Dell 2-in-1. It's made of both metal and plastic, has a high-quality hinge, and is overall a nice-looking machine. And lastly for ports, it has one USB-C, two USB 3.0s, and one HDMI out. Not a huge selection, but this should be more than enough for your college applications. Next up, a very recognizable name, the Asus ZenBook 14 Ultra Slim Laptop. The ZenBook has been around and known as a phenomenal laptop for a long time now, so let's see how this particular model holds up. So for the CPU, it has a Ryzen 5800H, which is an 8-core, 16-thread processor with a base clock of 3.2 GHz and boost clock of 4.4. The 5800H is undoubtedly a better processor than the 5700U, which is in the previous laptop, and will give you a bit more performance. So this processor will of course be able to handle all your college applications, from video editing to programming, to browsing around, to playing Valorant in the middle of class. For GPU performance, it has the same integrated graphics as the last laptop, which like I said, will be great for rendering, 3D work, and light gaming. Now for RAM, you're getting 16 gigabytes of memory. 16 gigs is more than enough for modern university applications, unless you're editing a bunch of 4K footage, for example, but besides that, you're totally golden with 16. Taking a look at the storage, it's a one terabyte SSD. Unless you're loading on a huge amount of super HD pictures, videos, maybe PSDs, stuff like that, one terabyte, more than enough. Moving on to the chassis and build overall, I'm not at all surprised to be able to say that it's great since it's from the ZenBook line of laptops. It's an all metal design. If you've watched my video review of the Aero 16, you'd know that one of my favorite things to look for in a laptop is an all metal design. It makes the device feel 20 times more premium and durable. And even with with this laptop being all metal, it's still super light. 
2.8 pounds. The screen is 14 inches with an IPS panel display with a 100% sRGB color gamut, so you'll be getting those beautiful, vibrant, and accurate colors, which is a must for things like photo editing and video editing. For ports, a pretty standard selection, two USB-Cs, one USB-A, one HDMI out, a micro SD card reader, and an audio jack. And now for the last laptop, the 2022 HP Pavilion. There's quite a few trade-offs with this laptop when compared to the others, so let's take a look. First, the tech specs, starting with the CPU, it has the Ryzen 5700U, which is the same processor as the first laptop we talked about. Eight cores, 16 threads with a base clock of 1.8 gigahertz and boost clock of 4.3. As I've said earlier, the 5700U with its eight cores and 16 threads will be a total beast in all your productivity needs. It's very, very capable and has very few limitations. You'll really only run into troubles if you're doing some really heavy stuff, but college applications, not an issue. Now for RAM, this will surprise you. We're looking at 64 gigabytes of RAM. That's a lot. Not even my main computer has 64 gigabytes of RAM. It's absolutely more than enough. 32 is more than enough, but you have double that. What can you do with all this memory? Well, if you're a photographer, video editor, you can have a ton of media open all at once. Perhaps maybe you're editing an entire batch of raw photos. Well, the laptop will be able to have them all open at once for you. Or maybe editing videos, same deal. You can have a bunch of 4K videos loaded up on your editing software, the PC will be able to have it all preloaded for you. For storage, a one terabyte NVMe SSD, just like the last two laptops. Lots of fast storage, great stuff. As for the build quality, this notebook also has a metal chassis, super awesome, built with a premium touch, none of that plastic crap. Now the screen on this is 15.6 inches, which is a decent bit larger than 14 inches. Personally, I could never work with a 14 inch display. It just feels a bit too small. 15.6 inches is my starting number for laptop displays. It's all also an IPS display, so no washed out or dull looking inaccurate colors. And lastly, ports, one USB-C, two USB-As, one HDMI out, and one SD card reader. So those are the three laptops best suited for college students with a budget of a thousand or less. But which of these three truly get you the best bang for your buck? Honestly, this is a tough one because all three of these notebooks are phenomenal with performance, build quality, and overall usability. But if I really had to choose one, I would go with the Asus ZenBook, and here's why. It's a laptop with fantastic build quality while still being really light. Bear in mind, you're taking this thing from class to class in your backpack. Also, it has amazing performance. The 5800H is the fastest CPU out of all of these laptops we talked about today. Lots of fast storage, a beautiful display, and a great battery life. And ZenBooks have always been some of the most reliable laptops out there. But again, you're making no mistake purchasing any three of these laptops, and links for all of them can be found in the description below. So that will wrap it up for today's video. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like. Have any comments or questions, don't be afraid to drop a comment below. And if you enjoy the content you're seeing, drop a sub. Thanks for watching. Peace out.